What is going on all you beautiful people out there? My name is Jamie and welcome back to the channel. Oh my god. We did it. We hit 100 subscribers. Woo! This has honestly been a number that I've wanted to get the channel to for a while now. Probably like two or three years and just never was able to do it. So it really means a lot to me that 100 people would click subscribe. So thank you so much if you're one of those people. Uh, it really means the world to me. So in honor of this momentous occasion, I thought I would do a quick little Q&A style video so that you can get to know me a little better. So that's what we're going to do. So about a week ago, I put a, a post up on my Instagram asking people to ask me questions and then I would include it in a video. So I will be going over some of the best questions that were asked by my followers and answering them. So if you want to be a part of the next one, uh, you can either leave a question that you have me down in the comments below and I may get to it in the next one, or uh, go follow me uh, at jamie.paulson on Instagram and participate the next time I do a Q&A video. So as our good boy Philly D once said, let's just jump into it. So before I get to any real questions, uh, I'll just give you some basic information about me. So my name is Jamie Paulson. I'm from Philadelphia. I'm a junior at Ursinus College, and I'm a double major in music and MCS, which stands for Media and Communications. So the first question is, what do you plan on doing with your degrees? So for my music degree, the main thing that I want to do is obviously write music. And I currently do that. Uh, I have music under the name Jamie the Optimist. I'll put some links to my music down below. You can follow me on all streaming services. I'll put the Spotify link below, but uh, if you don't use Spotify, just type in Jamie the Optimist into any streaming service and my music will come up. So I have a lot of uh, stuff planned for this year for, for music, uh, just on my own solo stuff, but I'm also in a band with a couple of my friends from college. We call ourselves Feel It Out, or FIO for short, F-I-O. Uh, shout out to Liam and Moose. I love y'all. Um, but yeah, we, we, we do music together. We haven't had uh, gigs in quite a while now, but hopefully when the Rona is over, we will do more stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing with the music degree. And with the MCS degree, uh, YouTube is the main thing that I want to do. But if that doesn't turn out to be a financially viable option, then I might just do like freelance videography and photography stuff. I'm really passionate about uh, filming and photography and editing, so whatever projects people have for me, I would film or take photos and edit something together. So yeah, that's that's my, my little plan for, for what I'm going to do with my degrees. The next question is, what are you working on right now? This is a great question. So. In terms of music, as I said, I have a lot of stuff in the works. I have about 15 to 20 unreleased songs uh, that I need to brush up and do some mixing, mixing and mastering and maybe some redoing of, of vocals uh, for them. But I would like to release a lot of stuff this year throughout the, the whole year and into 2022, obviously. Um, maybe even an album this year? I don't know. Hopefully, that is the, the plan, at least for now. Um, but that is more of a long-term project rather than in the next couple months or so. Um, so that's what I want to do for music. Uh, and I'm actually also working on creating a podcast right now called the Star Island Experience Podcast. It's totally focused around everything Star Island related, um, and especially 
people who used to work there and people who used to go there as what are called confries, which I will explain what that means possibly in a later video. Um, but just interviewing people who have worked there and been there in like the further past versus very recently and kind of comparing what it used to be like versus what it currently is like and just to hear stories from people who got to experience it. So that is another thing I'm working on and um, I have a lot of things in store for the YouTube channel which brings me to the next question which is what is the plan for your YouTube channel? So the overall thing that I want to do with this channel is just make stuff that makes me happy and make stuff that I'm passionate about and a side goal is to make you the viewer happy when you see it. I've always said on this channel that my goal with every video is to make at least one person smile so that is the goal. Uh, now that being said I have a ton of stuff I want to try to do this year obviously I don't want to set anything in stone because that never works for me whenever I say I'm gonna do something I often don't do it so I don't want to jinx myself but I have a lot of covers in store for the near future um, also I want to do a lot of vloggy type style videos um, some skits some challenges uh, my own original music and possibly some music videos for my own music uh, I also might start my a, a different YouTube channel just for uh, my Jamie the Optimist stuff so that people can go directly to that and support it rather than <laughs> oh, Sorry, my lights just fell down off the wall. I need to go fix that um, But anyway, I'm gonna try to do this all in one take so yeah, so that's uh, another thing that I'm working on uh, and just honestly I just want to make whatever I come up with I don't want to have like a box that like only I make that specific content I want to make just a wide array of stuff so if you want to come along for the ride feel free to subscribe uh, and join me for this journey because you don't want to miss it. It'll be a fun time Let's get into the next question So the next question is who are your biggest musical influences? Uh, so growing up I lived in a very musical household and a very folky household There was always like either Pete Seeger or Joan Baez or Bob Dylan or any of those guys playing in the background on the radio or on the CD player and so I th definitely think that all those uh, artists had a huge impact on my own music and the type of music that I listen to um, but more recently I have been inspired by people like Sufjan Stevens, Angelo de Agustin, uh, The Beatles, um, Tyler, Tyler the Creator, Childish Gambino, uh, Kyle, Lawrence, Wolfpack, uh, Mark Rebier, Reggie Watts, um, Elton John, James Taylor. Uh, I could honestly have this list go on for, this could be its own video in itself, but I think that is where I will end the list. So now let's get into the next question, which is what have you been listening to recently? Now, most of the people that I just named, I have been listening to, but I've been on a pretty big uh, folk punk kick recently, so I've been listening to people like uh, the Wingnut Dishwashers Union, the Taxpayers, Apes of the State, uh, Days and Days, AJJ, um, Blackbird Realm, really good one, but also things like uh, in a totally separate genre people like tokyo's revenge nascar Allo, baby no money young gravy uh wolfpeck lawrence uh, and mark rebier so yeah those are some people i've been listening to recently next question so this is a good one and the question is would you ever start an only fans and the short answer 
is yes, but when I have more followers. I've heard that it's really hard to get into it when you have a very small fan base. And so maybe when I hit like 5K or 10K on Instagram uh, or on here, I may start one, but not for now. And now the last question is, who are your biggest YouTube influences? So I would say that the people that had the most impact on me, both when I was an early YouTube watcher and consumer, um, and even to now, is people like Wheezy Waiter, Vlog Brothers, Zay Frank, Vsauce, and Vsauce 2 and 3, um, Rhett and Link, Philip DeFranco, Danny Gonzalez, Drew Gooden, uh, Curtis Connor, Jarvis Johnson, Cody Ko, Noel Miller, Adam Neely, uh, Charles Cornell, Rick Beato, Jack Septicai, David J.P. Phillips, Markiplier, and Game Grumps. So yeah, those are some of my biggest influences. So yeah, that just about does it for this video. If you're still watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I have a cover coming next week, which is hopefully going to be Blue by uh, Angelo De Augustine. So make sure to look out for that. I'm going to try to post every Friday. Um, I know whenever I say that, it never happens. So it may not be that. I may also post on days that are not Friday. But I will try to stick to a schedule because I'm finally starting to like have free time and be able to film throughout the week. So I will hopefully be able to have a video every Friday. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.